I'm not worried about you, you can look after yourself. I'm worried about the vulnerable people out there and I actually try and help them. Hi, it's me again and regular viewers to my channel will know how I feel about the letters that are sent out by the good people at TV licensing. How scary they are, they're written to intimidate you into paying for something you shouldn't need. Well, it's not just me talking about it now. Look, there's a story about it. Let's take a look and have a bit of a chat. BBC attacked after sending out very threatening letters. The BBC has come under fire for sending out very threatening letters, which could be received by students travelling to university away from their parents for the first time, or by vulnerable people in the UK. Now, my biggest issue with this whole story is, how has it taken a newspaper so long to pick up on this? People have been receiving these scary letters for years. They're written in a very intimidating way to scare you into paying for something you might not need. If you want to learn more about the letters, I've got a playlist on all the letters below. You'll find it below. But I want to know how it's taken a newspaper so long to come up with this story. It's mad, isn't it? Calvin Robinson, a British political commentator who regularly features on Dan Wooten's superstar panel on GB News, he was also the spokesman for the Defund the BBC campaign for a while. I did have some contact with them. I don't really talk to them anymore. don't know what happened with that. He shared images of the unsolicited letter he received on social media this week. So he's received one letter and he's getting all this traction of it. But you lot have been sending me all your tens of thousands of letters that you've received and no newspaper has picked up on that. I mean, the videos I've made on the, on the letters must have had a couple of million views in total. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. The letter in question states it is an official warning about an investigation being carried out for the address as there is no record of a TV license at the property. So I did a video on that one a while ago. But this Calvin Robinson bloke, like I say, he was the spokesman for Defund the BBC. I don't know if he still is or not, to be honest. I don't really follow a lot of the Defund the BBC stuff anymore. It's all going to be quiet. Isn't it? But um, he should have known all about this already. Why is he just picking up? Is it his first time away from home and having to worry about a TV license? And he's now at university and he's got his first ever letter. And he's actually been brought into the real world of TV license fight. Or, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems a bit odd. Who, the guy who was the campaign spokesman is talking about one letter he personally received. Rather than the tens of thousands of letters that vulnerable people out there are receiving every day, which is what I talk about. No, weird, isn't it? So we've all seen this letter before, official notice investigation open. So I've got a video on this down, down in the playlist below. <laughs> My favourite bit is always the, the official looking stamp at the bottom there. I do love that. I do love that. So he talks about it saying, imagine how a student or vulnerable person might feel receiving this letter. The bullies. Emily Hewitson, a political commentator, responded to the tweet saying she received something similar when she moved into student halls for her first year of university. She described the experience as horrible, stating that it was genuinely scary to receive such a threatening letter, especially in the first few days of living away from home. She said the letter referred to the risk of prosecution if no action was taken and recalled calling her mum panicking. She wrote, I thought I'd done something seriously wrong. Now imagine if you're an OAP receiving these letters. That's why I'm in this fight. Students are all right. They don't watch telly anyway. And students can have an exemption from the television license like we all can. I have got a video on students TV license. Yeah, ages ago. I might have to update that. If I can find it, I'll put the link. I'll put the link below to it. But yeah, not a long video today. I just wanted to bring this to you because I thought it was interesting how a guy who was spokesman for the defund the BBC campaign received a letter and decided to talk about his personal experience with a scary letter when a spokesperson, I consider myself a bit of a spokesperson for this fight, and every day I'm helping people who have received letters. I get thousands of letters every day. So this isn't just him being singled out. You know, I'm not worried about you. You can look after yourself. I'm worried about the vulnerable people out there, and I actually try and help them. You know, and I think we all need to. If you know anyone who's received the letters, pass the links on for my videos to put their mind at ease, because there is nothing scary about these letters. And I say, you'll find a playlist down below, so take a look at the playlist, and uh, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.